there to commemorate us talking about the Wizard of Oz, we did mention the Muppets of Wizard of Oz in episode 26 of our Muppets retrospective. That was 50 episodes ago and two years ago. Uh, it was that long ago, and I think I queued it up to the point, so... And of course, me being stupid as the host. The fucking host. Okay. So go for it. So they skipped the Muppet movie formula. They tried to go back, sort of, to the storytelling formula. Uh, what? Why? Why did this not work? Well, let's see. Uh, for starters, um, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get one thing out of the way. Uh, uh, the I I defended this movie. When it was coming, when it was coming out, I had to. I felt the need to actually defend it. James I guess, defended a bad movie. Uh, <laughs> against a ridiculous. It'll happen. I'm gonna do it again tonight. Damn you! Would you like to know what that controversy was? I know what it is. There it goes. Oh, the I neighborhood. Say, I, I did. Keep listening. Oh, can I say? Can I say it? Yes, you may say it. Okay, I think. Okay, I'm not 100% sure. I think, okay, it, I think it's at the beginning. They they were all on a bus, and, like, before oh, they were leaving, I think it was Pepe who mentioned some, who mentioned about Girls Gone Wild. I think it was like, it was like, hold on, man. Hold on, okay, we were about to miss Girls Gone Wild. I forgot that joke. So did I. <laughs> How could I hate this and forget that? <laughs> uh, oh, was it the no, Black Dorothy? I'm trying to remember. That was the I was talking about. Oh. Uh. Um, okay, well, my sixty time is not the controversy, okay? I was still watching Scooter <laughs> in the Cage, okay? You know the irony. Yeah, they're about the ninth wonder of the world. No, like negative sixty bajillion. If I may, if I may say something, you know the irony is that Pepe saying that girls gone wild joke, it would not be out of place if he said that in the in the 2015 series. Oh, I agree there. I actually found him funnier in that show. Oh yeah. Continue, Mike. Continue. I, th I think my favorite line was, "Oh yeah, we 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 don't mind the gonzos, but just, we don't like the chickens." <laughs> yes. I was like, "That's so racist to you." <laughs> that the people had with the movie before it was released. And uh, it was... It was that Dorothy was black. Really? That was the controversy? What? Yes. What? What? Like I said, there but, goes but, the but, neighborhood. But they did the whiz! Yeah, that's what I said. That Ease on down the road. And we can debate. We can debate how good that was, but the point is. In today's game, that's called blackwashing. I was actually talking with the with some idiot from Kansas, while uh, who happened to love uh, yeah, I he was a friend of mine at the time, but given our relationship. In hindsight, I can call him an idiot for many reasons, but this is one. And um, he was known for was being named Lincoln. Over, um, <clears throat> over the Wizard of Oz that he felt, and he, what do you know, he was living in Kansas, and uh, he thought that this was a problem. Why? Well, um, he said, well, if you don't, you don't live in Kansas, so you don't know this, but uh, you go around here, we don't have any black people. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> controversies oh, are yes. coming straight our way. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you don't, 
give you. It's an adaptation. Well, okay. So that that uh, that controversy aside, even I'm speechless. Even I'm. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what does this. What problem does this movie have? Well. Mm-hmm. Um. Let's see. I'm digging Angry James. You're digging Angry James. <laughs> I can get <laughs> on something too over something stupid. <laughs> Angry James, day, day. Angry James is on up. Angry James, day, day, day. <laughs> Sorry, okay. go on. Yeah. Okay. That should be Here's the theme. The with that the should film. be the theme. It is. <laughs> it is contemporary. 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 Contemporizing the uh, Wizard of Oz story and doing, like you guys said, trying to make it hip. Wouldn't it be uh, modernizing? The actress playing Dorothy. That works too. Actually, not an actress. She is a pop singer, Ashanti. Singer. Ashanti. Who is, albeit a talented singer, I've heard her stuff. But, um, here's the problem. Uh, she has to be a black, no smack talking Dorothy, pop singing. Okay. And, uh, and she cannot pull that off. I'm tired here. She is a, she is a, a stereotype. It's like a three or four hour And she one. cannot pull that off. Uh,. Every time she, every time she talks tough, and and um, uh, tries to put down a character like say uh, Miss Piggy as the Wicked Witch, it doesn't work. It it it's it's the Muppets trying to be hip. Doesn't work. Um, as for the other problems with the film, um. I don't know. That that was kind of it. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's uh, more. <laughs> uh, after I don't know. After uh, I think I know what you're gonna go for, Morgan. Mm. And um, <clears throat> let me tell you, after having uh, sat in through the sitting through the the brunt of the majority of the film, with uh, listening to Ashanti. Try to act. Um, Quentin Tarantino is a relief. Ugh. Oh. There was no point to that cameo. There was no point to even Kelly Osbourne's cameo. Yeah. I mean, what was the point of that scene? I mean, legitimately, he comes on going, I am gonna make this giant proposal. What's gonna have this you know, big fight scene? Oh, we can't do that. Okay, let's have an anime morphing scene where they transform into giant motherfucking robots and they destroy Oz. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Tarantino. Why are you here again? Exactly. Yeah. And it's Wait, why are the cameras on during this? So we're not filming this. Uh, no, no. It's not and, it, right. and, and it's not just Quentin Tarantino. The cameos in Muppet films, for me, like, if you call them, at least have a point. Uh, Mel Brooks works because he's eccentric. He does characters like that, so it fits. Don Dewey's and his, you know, happy, friendly kind of thing there. Uh, Charles Grodin and his, you know, sly sort of personality. You know, he has that smug that he brings on to the villain. Even when he did Beethoven, he had that smug too, that little you know, grimace in a way. Mm-hmm. The cameos here feel like they're there for attention, and it, it, it's not just Quentin Tarantino. It's not just anything else. It's the fact that they're not being used in the right way. Even Jeffrey Taymor is wasted, again, as the wizard. It doesn't even make any sense. If they had, like, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, 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 yeah, David Copperfield as Oz, it would make sense, because he's a magician. You know, that's how it would work. And, and I, know, I know what you're thinking, you know, cameos don't have to make any sense, they just pop in... 
No, not necessarily. No, no not necessarily. I mean, if it's for like a little, you know, well, there's Steve Martin it, as the I mean, you know, Richard cameo Pryor, maker Blue sense in the Muppet movie. Then again, his cameo or Peter Ustinov in the Great Muppet Caper. With the ladies, but then you had things like Bob Hope the Ice Cream Graf. Man, and it's, it's kind of oh, yeah. cute. He has like a little charm in a way. Well, Ustinov was so funny because his character was pointless, and yeah, they made a joke about that. And Steve Martin was there because Steve Martin was funny, and he's sarcastic, so it fit the character of the waiter. It's so much more than that. Two like years ago, we still have a, doing the two Martin years later, we're still having this argument. Goes out the window. Okay, <laughs> fine. I, I can vouch for that. But people are so embedded with the 1930s movie that you can just imagine the disappointment. It's like, okay, who's going to, you know, fill in the shoes for uh, Munchkins, all that sort of stuff. And, you know, the Emerald I City. I sound like Gene the Siskel now. Emerald City, you take one good look at it's it, weird. your brain's going to fry. The biggest problem is, again, they don't know what source they're going for. And again, the moment's trying to be hip. It doesn't work here. They, they have the flinging, the winged monkeys as motorcyclists, and that's the flinging the monkeys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Exactly. The flinging monkeys, so but you need a monkey cat up top for that book. to work. Good for you. If you're gonna go buy the book, good for you. But when you have Passion of the Christ jokes, Apocalypse Now, when you have a scene where the wicked witch by Miss Piggy comes in and dismembers Kermit and blows Gonzo up as the tin thing and, uh, you know, the, oh, what are these buttons right here? Oh, those are my nipples. It, again, the Muppets have to have a foreground here. They can do adult stuff, but, it, you know, in the past they've done it very nice and very subtle. You know, hey, Foz, you get your nose stuck in here. It's actually kind of funny. Gonzo had uh, bat nipples. You know... <laughs> This is a funny story I have. I remember seeing this when it first premiered. And we got to that scene with the witch and, you know, dismembering and blowing things up. And my mother was there in the room and she said, uh, we're not going to watch this. And she changed the channel to the Grammys or whatever else was on that <laughs> night. Uh, I think it was the Grammys. It's not a <clears throat> sign. It's not a good sign when halfway through, someone who's grown up on the Muppets as good as you decides enough is enough, let's see something else that is boring, but not as offensive as this. Mm -hmm. And to add insult, oh, I shouldn't say add insult to injury, um, as a backup, there was an attempt to record it on my grandmother's angle, but it only got past the Munchkin land scene, and that was it, so maybe it was a good thing we didn't get it on tape. Yep, uh, Somebody yeah, was spared. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That wasn't a fun experience, was it? No, it, it, it wasn't. Uh, no, you had more to say than, than I did. <laughs> That's yeah, I, I win Gene Siskel on that one. <laughs> yeah, I guess now we can take and a look at it through an Oz per perspective. The most uncomfortable, awkward joke of all time. Uh, which was? Which one was chicken it? Chicken fetish. It is where the Oz wizard turns into a giant chicken. He's going, oh, giant oh, chicken oh, and oh, 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 That day, Matt turned into a man. Does he take one look at it and his nose straightens out, or what? Oh, <laughs> I don't think I would ever, I don't even want to! <laughs> oh, God. Can we uh, move on? I'm starting so, to be horrified. Yeah, we should move on. To, Wait, they can't hang up in because the nose is a cell phone. Movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it goes on to the next one. And that, after this, we get the infamous quote ever from Matt, I don't give a butt's ass. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, that what that was for letters to say. That that was for Legend of Oz. No, not Legend of Oz. Sorry, I, I, that was for letters, letters to Santa. Santa. I, was just, I, was just, uh, I still I still consider that the worst Muppet thing ever made. 
was listening to him. Poor was, Paul Williams. It, isn't it? Wasn't it great to to listen to us all pay homage to the Muppets by talking about how much we hate the Muppets? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was hilarious. A Muppet project. Why? Why did they cancel it? <laughs> no, they're. No, I no. This is our way. No, to look at the bright side. This is our way to say, could be worse. At least we still got mm-hmm. the rides at Disney World. They could go on for quite some time. Oh yeah. Well, they officially changed the entire section to Muppet Courtyard. So we still have the movies. They're still being watched. I mean, they're still still being seen on Netflix. I don't think the Muppets are going to. I play. actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually Muppet heard, Caper is still be seen. I actually heard rumors. Like, and these are just rumors that apparently, like, there could be a consideration that the Muppets could just move to Netflix. That I could actually live with. If they do that, I'd be curious to see what they could do with it. Um, because, though... because it is true that, like, ABC did heavily consider, um, like, giving it another season. Hmm. The way I see it, they should probably try Internet Shorts again. But like, like maybe like you know, little webisodes around the officer stuff, yeah. like building hype and momentum, and then launching back into the new season. I think that would have been a smarter idea, starting small, and then seeing if there's still interest here. Um, but if the Netflix rumor's true, I see what they could do with it. I mean, Dinosaurs is on Netflix. Um, yeah. No, because when it shut down, yeah, because like when they announced a the cancellation, I've seen a lot of reactions that like a lot of people were sad. Yeah, even ToughPigs.com, the biggest uh, Muppet fan news. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. the thing is, is that, like, sure, there are some people who criticize, like, oh, this is not like the Muppets I remember, but, like, a lot of Muppet fans do like it. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, and honestly, like, I, and honestly, like I said in my review, like, I kind of question those people who kind of say that. Because going back into watching the Muppet show, th- there's hardly a difference with Kermit. Hmm. Uh, Kerm- Kermit's pretty easy. You just, uh, you just have a, a character that that's straight but goes crazy every once in a while and just yeah. goes ah! yeah because the thing with kermit is that the only difference that i saw between like kermit in the muppet show and kermit in the muppets is that kermit's doing his freaking job <laughs> he's not dealing with bullcrap anymore he's not dealing with any more oh my uncle owns the theater bullcrap <laughs> this is he's the boss he does what he says <laughs> And it's a shame, too, because there's some really good puppetry moments in that show, too. Like, when Rizzo is inside Big Mean Carl is a little baby, we see him, you know, climbing mm-hmm. out. That, that's oh, a yeah. really good piece of puppetry right there, especially when they're, like, holding a pencil or, like, blowing through a straw or something. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, but another pretty good puppetry... Well, I don't know if this would count, but, like, when Gonzo, like, refines his new love for daredeviling, mm-hmm. like, when... When he like had to hold the moon, and then suddenly he goes up in the air, and then suddenly crashes down. Like that was another good one. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. When you see him dangling the rafters and everything. Uh, maybe what? Maybe if they do uh, go to Netflix, maybe they'll bring back Walter. I don't know. I, I kind of liked how they were doing without him, because at least actually, they're bringing old characters back and everything. Actually, the funny thing is, is that my mom brought up a really good theory. Of, like, why Walter's not there. Because, like, they always bring in special guests. So maybe they're just saving him for when, like, Jason Siegel could be a special guest. Or Amy Adams. Well, of course, he's Jason Siegel's brother, for crying out loud. Mm-hmm. No, maybe he went back to live with Jason Siegel. Who knows? It's all right, buddy. We're roommates. The Muppets are still in your heart. No, I'm just waiting for that third movie to get made. We know it's not going to get made, buddy. <laughs> Everyone's well, waiting I, for Toy Story at 4. Sti- at least I'm still anticipating for Season 4 and Season 5 to come out on DVD. Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, why don't, why don't Disney just release like the whole series on Blu-ray or something? It's the same thing with Star Trek uh, Deep Space Nine. They were doing this whole plan where it's like, okay, if New Generation sells well on Blu-ray, we'll do this set, we'll remaster, we'll give it the final treatment works. Supposedly, uh, the new generation DVDs, but Blu-rays didn't sell as well as they thought, so that idea got scrapped. Uh, CBS. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of things with that, but uh, I think is totally ready now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. All warmed up and heated. Yeah, this is good. This yep. is good. This is, I can split this up into like little videos for content. So. Oh. You've been recording this whole yep, thing. Basically. Dang it! This damn microphone. Hit my guts. Oh. <laughs> Mike Dick nuts. I dropped your mic in my nuts. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Dick I got you in the nuts. <laughs> and then my nuts went black. The lower of the bubble of the bottom to a summer of life. And then I feel my fist and that I was supposed to stop for the vibe. I was supposed to be the map in the lower summer of all the time. Hello, that's my problem. I'm not telling a brain. Hello, this is my problem. I'm not telling a brain. Welcome to the Cinema Online Christmas Special. Christmas was was time to see. Me, I went to Hula Hoop. I'm just curious though, Mike. Did you feel anything? <laughs> you, you crossed the line. <laughs> Magic cock, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a fish! <laughs> I still have it. <laughs> you sound like that Dawn character from 16 Candles. Yes, yes. Oh, can I have sex there now? <laughs> oh, oh, pick me! I'm on your volunteer! <laughs> Uh, uncanny valley. It even looks like you. <laughs> just the hair was guys. Hey, I got a good body to match with. <laughs> I wonder what they did to wax all that hair off the chest. Uh, next I'll have to go for the eyebrows. <laughs> So oh, we're killing them over here. She's down. <laughs> okay. One of, one of these days I'm making a t-shirt. <laughs> it's just gonna say magic cock and on the back my ass. Yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be a little arrow pointing down. <laughs> one of these days. Oh. I remember that days. joke actually. <laughs> Only the person I heard had a police officer in it. <laughs> Okay. I can't get it back to my feeling out of the box. It's going to be all blurry and stuff. Okay. That's the best thing I've ever recorded in my life. Or maybe I could just co I get I could just cosplay with my sh with on only like wearing pants, and I'll just have a dildo <laughs> up my butt. I can't believe I just not hear that from you. <laughs> I, I can't imagine. It's just, it's just gonna be one awkward Q and A section. Uh, yes, you over there. Um, does it vibrate? <laughs> it's like, when, sir, why aren't you sitting? I just turned around. <laughs> when, when you fart, does it does it smell like dick? <laughs> I don't know. You want to find out? By the way, how do you know the smell of dick? <laughs> I'm asking you. He has a point. He has a point. <laughs> because I have one, damn it. <laughs> yeah, but you actually go. <laughs> do, you, do you occasionally smell your own freaking dick? <laughs> my virgin ears. What am I hearing? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not have virgin ears, Shut Mike. Up. No, 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 it's like this, it's like this. <clears throat> hey, Taz, you devil, you sure toss a mean salad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. I win again. <laughs> Two Dice Podcast is brought to you by Matt with a dill blow up his butt and James sniffing his own crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Not for any pleasurable reasons, just casually. I, I don't have to smell it. The morning wood is strong oh enough. Oh god! You don't, you don't have to. Oh god. 
That means take a freaking shower. From the redwood forest to the Gulf Stream waters. I need, I need, I need. Oh man, if this gets posted. Oh my god, this is gonna be. Oh, I can god. imagine just Devin looking at this. You guys are weirdos. <laughs> Cinema Royale after dark. God, don't post that. Please. Yes! Let's make it happen! Oh. Nine, Morgan, nine. It will be uploaded to the internet. <laughs> oh, God. It will be all to see your children's children will experience yes. it. It will be, it'll, it'll be after dark a hundred times. After dark dot com dot com a hundred times. After dark slash deep internet. Dot com under times. Uh, okay. Uh, I was going to say that this time I actually got the timer here, which I'll actually let it run through. I'm not stopping it or anything. So whatever we get through, whatever we get oh, through, and I got the I got a nice oh, ringer for it too. Oh 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 oh! What is it? Follow the Olympic nope. road. Ding dong! The nope. witch is dead. No. Uh, or ease on down nope. the road. <laughs> no, it's something they. Or what's that? It's what? it's something that relates to the next episode. So. Oh. I, I, I found some. I found something that relates to the next episode, and that's a clue for people. Somewhere. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry that got dark there. What the... <laughs> I'm a heartless prick. <laughs> that little volcano wanted to go over the rainbow. Alright, here we go. Now he's Let's under the sea. Let's make things up with some <laughs> For real now, people. And he's waiting for someone to lava. <laughs> Somewhere under the sea. I had a dream. I had a dream. I hope will come true and you're here with me and I'm here with you oh, oh, oh. I hope that the earth see the sky up above would send me uh, it, it's a pity when your movie is buried in the short <laughs> no you know when the movie's ama you know when your movie's amazing when people have to go to the short to find problems. And how did the good dinosaur get the better short? Yeah, really. No, honestly, yeah, uh, honestly switch the those two and you have a better experience. Oddly enough, Sanjay's Super Team is actually the only short that I've actually seen that I saw it and I thought I would like a movie of this. Yes. Yes. It is. Well, you don't want a movie out of the, the Umbrella Love story? <laughs> yeah, because you want an hour and a half of just, like, that monotone singing. Full disclosure, that one, the one where um, the T-Rex is partying, and the other one where they go on vacation with the Barbies are the only three Pixar shorts I have not seen to this day. Wait, which ones? Uh, the party source one where Rex is in the bathtub. Oh, yeah. That was uh, that one was that was that one's pretty uh, cool. The one, where Ken, the one where Ken and Barbie want to go on vacation. And oh, that one's what good. Are you thinking? Didn't see that one because I was with that Cars was Two and I didn't see Cars Two, and I didn't see the Blue Umbrella because I didn't see that Pixar film in theaters. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Uh, Monsters University. Yeah, we rented that one, so I didn't see it in theaters. Yeah, um, that's a simple solution. Just go get Pixar uh, Pixar Shorts Collection Volume Two. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I to this day I have not seen Cars too. I refuse to. Oh God, don't, don't. To I'm this still wondering. Day. To, even to this day, I'm still wondering how did I give it a six out of ten? Something's not. Something doesn't seem right. It's one of the few reviews that I look back at, and I have to reconsider like the score. Another one Did is I actually fantastic. Another one is Fantastic Mr. Fox because I gave it an eight out of ten. But nowadays, nowadays, like I freaking love it. Time for the re review for the animation hit. <laughs> well, not really. Maybe, maybe in the future when I consider doing like yeah. reviews. 
that oh and another one another one i have to do a movie that definitely deserves the uh, probably deserves the animat seal of garbage i think i know which one you're thinking of oh absolutely morgan oh yes it's beowulf no of course mars needs mums exactly Uh, you're good you're good (sighs) yeah the first time probably the first time uh we ever heard uh morgan actually doing a Doing an improvised fuck you on his show. I admit the fuck you was improvised. The stuff before that was scripted. Mm-hmm. I know I did my fair share of fuck yous. <laughs> well, improvised. Back off, Cap. Yep. All right, we've Let's been here this. for All right, we've been here for ninety minutes. Ooh, Lorex, the Lorex is here. Look, <laughs> Lorex. Whoops. Oh. No, I'll, I'll just, I'll just this is our... Wait, give him. Wait, can you just give him eyebrows for a minute? <laughs> See, look. Oh. And no eyebrows. <laughs> I'm <laughs> here to speak for the trees. It's these little weird eyebrow things, right? Like this. So he looks. So he looks more like an alien. Oh, have you guys seen? I, I, I can go ahead and spoil this with you guys. Have, have you guys seen the... Have I shown you guys the, the title card? I have, but I don't think they have. I am I made it! Of course I have! Well, yeah, but... Uh, oh, ever, has everyone no. seen it complete? That's the thing. I don't think so. And he lifted himself by the seat of his pants. <laughs> I la- That was the funniest part of, of the uh, 2012 movie. That they know. treat Laura they they treat Lorax like a freaking saint. He, he picks up his butt and goes to the heavens with heavenly glow. It was it was part of the book. I didn't laugh at it. They made they made Lorax like a freaking saint, man. Yeah. They made Lorax is Jesus Christ. <laughs> I I won't argue with there on that one. I mean they, the no, they, 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 they really pushed they they really pushed it in the movie. That's the thing. Still, Danny DeVito was a good cast call. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. Any any touch-ups that you did, James? Uh, no, but I will be getting, I will be getting. Uh, oh, getting rid of, rid of the sign of signature, yeah. Signature. Oh, here. I thought, oh, I thought you were about to show us like any, like the any animations of it, like add them from pages to pictures or whatever. Hmm. No, I haven't added that stuff yet. I, uh, I like it the way it is, though. Okay. Uh, I have Blue, B- Blue B TV episode four to think of before I. I uh, my God, I I have not been able to script this episode yet. You know, I have to admit, looking at it now, I'm pretty I'm pretty glad of myself that I'm improving with shadows and stuff. Mm. Yeah, with shadows like, and lighting, like especially on the Lorax is more prominent. Yeah, it's like <laughs> this is it without the lighting effects. Yeah, well, the lighting effects is another addition. Oh, yeah. Fresh shadows and light, black colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is... You do a really amazing work here. Oh, thanks. And, yeah, that's that's it without... It just... Yeah, it it's crazy how each finish. element... Yeah, it's crazy how each element just... It adds life. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. All right, then. So, are we ready to podcast? 90 more minutes of content. <clears throat> Two specials. Cinema Lounge After Dark and Cinema Royale Episode 76. Didn't we already do Cinema Lounge? This, that, this whole warm-up. <laughs> this whole... You know, I'm... I'm... I'm I'm starting to think what it would be like if we all came together at a convention and we all just did like a big Q and A session that would just last for hours wow. on end. Oh god, that would be insane. We'd be serving everyone milk and cookies. <laughs> Bro. Hey, what whatever happened to that convention that you were invited to, Matt? Me? Um, I actually just got an email and it seems more official. What? I I I think I'm gonna be in. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if you uh, I don't know if you know Morgan, but I actually got invited to Con Bravo. Nice. 
So yeah, no, I just received an email. The guy, no, because he told me that I was high on his list, but like he got job, like he he got like sudden uh, array of job after job, and I just sent him like uh like a little description and my headshot to be prominent. So um, next week I'm gonna do an update video, so it's gonna be the perfect time that I could go and announce there it as go. well. Nice. And let's see what the levels of jealousy are, and they are all the way to Jupiter. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, crap, there's also that part. Morgan, remember? Morgan, reread that letter. It's okay, it's okay. I like joking around with stuff like that. Nah, I understand. Now, that's another similarity we have, man. We, we also poke fun of oh, yeah. We poke fun of our own flaws. Hey, Siskel and Ebert had it too, you know? Exactly. Oh, yeah, of course. 